Media firestorm with this headline, Med Megyn Kelly's NBC talk show could be in jeopardy. Howie Kurtz joins us now. Howie? Harris, Megyn Kelly, the former Fox News megastar who jumped to NBC last year, has talked her way into big trouble. And Fox News can now confirm that her job hosting the third hour of the Today Show is expected to end, perhaps in the not-too-distant future, but those final conversations have not yet taken place. Kelly was asked to stay home today and tomorrow after fierce criticism, which insiders say was almost unanimous within NBC News, over racially charged remarks she made involving, of all things, Halloween. What is racist? Because, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on black yes, face yes. for Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. Like, I, back, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as, like, a character. That led to an abject apology, first in a letter to her NBC colleagues and then to her viewers. I'm Megyn Kelly, and I want to begin with two words. I'm sorry. I learned that given the history of blackface being used in awful ways by racists in this country, it is not okay for that to be part of any costume, Halloween or otherwise. A series of leaks is eroding her position. NBC News Chairman Andrew Lack has already had discussions with Kelly about ending her morning hour by year's end, according to two unnamed sources quoted by the New York Times. Also leaking, Lack telling staffers at a meeting yesterday that he condemned the blackface remarks, which have been heavily covered by NBC. The fact is, while she apologized to the staff, some NBC staffers are still upset. Kelly's also parted company with her talent agency. It was a huge story, you'll recall, when Kelly left Fox, which she was perhaps best known for clashing with President Trump and for right. accusing the late chairman Roger Ailes of sexually harassing her. But despite a $17 million a year deal with NBC, her ratings are disappointing, and it looks like the show is not going to continue. Howie Kurtz, thank you. We'll